The last few days of 2021 were very busy. I went through all my clothes and organized everything. And here you can see I'm just showing you how I organized all the drawers by color. I felt so good and it was like literally aesthetically pleasing. I have literally those two bags with ribbons on it to send to St. Martin. The other three were to donate and those here are to sell on Vinted. If you would like to buy anything from me, I'm actually going to put my name up here that you can see on Vinted and there you can shop my wardrobe in the next few days. Here you can see I'm also just planning out putting in my work schedule into my calendar to make sure that I stay on top of the days that I'm working. And when I do this, I like to sometimes just lay down on my yoga mat because it gives me that just like relaxed feel with some good music, candle, books, paper, candles. <laughs> it literally just makes me feel like I have my life right now. One of the best tips I received this year was from my friend Ania on how her grandfather used to take out the Christmas tree all the time by putting a fitted sheet under the Christmas tree and taking it out that way. And I must say it worked so well. You can see me here literally taking the Christmas tree out on my own down the stairs because I didn't want everyone seeing me doing this in the lift and making a mess. So I did it through the stairs and it was literally one of the best ideas I got this year. And you can see the Christmas tree there. And what I did was just clean up the living room area and then before New Year's the whole house. I'm gonna enjoy some sushi and bring in the New Year's at home. My Christmas tree is gone and I'm watching just a show while I have some sushi. The last meal of 2021, yeah! New Year, this is my first meal of the day. I'm sitting down enjoying a meal and having some tea before I go outside for a walk. Don't you have that feeling when you're outside that it just feels so peaceful when you're walking? You can think and just feel all your emotions. That's literally what I have when I walk to my happy place. Like I'm able to just think and think expansive at the same time, which I love, and I'm able to write and express myself even though it's cold, like this day was quite cold, I still just push myself to be outside and spend time with nature. Hi beautiful people! How are you doing? I hope you're doing well. Happy New Year! I'm wishing you all the best this year. May this year bring you a lot of vibrancy, self-assurance, self-love and love for everything else in this world. Once you love yourself and once you share that love with different people and different places that you go, you'll be able to attract and magnetically get everything that is aligned to your frequency. So I wish you this. That's my wish for you and for myself. I almost didn't take a picture of it or show you, but this is the meal that I made today. Some stew oxtail, plantain, I already had to eat one, <laughs> uh, avocado and rice. Lekker. Good morning, beautiful people. I am here having some breakfast and some bush tea. I have egg and bread. And I'm watching actually some movies and videos on YouTube because I'm looking to see what people are predicting for the year 2022. I just did like a little cleanse of my space and also blessing, which I'm really excited for, to continuously keep me protected and blessed for this new year. And I'm now going to actually watch some videos, do my makeup, and then film for YouTube.
And this day one friend came over and we just had a dinner and catch up. The food was so good. I had leftover oxtail and she never tried it before. So it was good to have her try some. And then we had some tea with cake and pie, which is always nice. A little nice chill vibe. Good morning. It's a beautiful new day. My year has started out well, really relaxed and exactly how I want it to feel. I'm very thankful and today is Monday and I decided to start reading today this book from Lonjal. It's self-care package, healing through the chakras. I had it on my list for a while and I got it actually with um a book card that I got for my birthday. And I just put some extra money in it. So it's my um, birthday gift and Christmas gift to myself combined. And it's by a guy that has really good songs. If you don't know him, Landrell, check him out on Spotify. And he has really good songs. One of my favorites from him is called Black Girl Magic. Really a good song. But this one, you know, of course, I'm really into the chakras and healing through them and also working with them. So this is a great book and I had it for a while on my list to buy. So I'm really happy that I have it. What it goes through, as you can see in the content page, is all the chakras that we have and the different things. And what I like so far is, yeah, this is, I really believe in that. Your practice is your peace. The more you practice, the more you become anchored in peace. I realized that after falling off my practice last year, that... Yeah, I wasn't moving from a place that I would like to. So this year we're going to focus on our practice. Um, and it's really nice because it goes into all the terms that they have. Some of them I knew and I thought I knew properly, but uh, he explained a bit more. And then how to use the book. And moving on to like a check-in before going into the chakra, which is a root chakra. Or the mal mul. Mulad, Muladhara, the Muladhara chakra. Yeah, so this is the root chakra, the first chakra that we have, and then he goes into detail about it. And of course, I am a highlighted person and I chose green because green is in nature. Um, and I'm going to, you know, be grounded by reading this book. Just had to sneeze a little. But yeah, this I started reading today and I read up until here. And the affirmation for the root chakra is, when I ground myself, I grow myself. From the earth I grow, from the earth I bloom. That's nice. So I thought I would share that with you. And yeah, I'm going to spend a week on each chakra. So I have up until here to read for the rest of the week. And of course, that's manageable. I think you can read it even in a day. But I just really want to like read and then digest it a bit. Maybe listen to his music and focus on that so i'm just going to go ahead and put in my bookmarker and put this to the side and another book that i'm also reading on my bed i actually put my books and pens can you imagine <laughs> i just leave it my books and pens in case i get a dream or an idea or in my highlights so i can just you know have it ready to go but yeah i'm also reading this book and i have to finish it by this month, I'll be finished with this one as well. Um, but last night, I left off before going to bed. A chapter. I didn't actually finish reading the whole chapter. It's just this left and then that's it. So I'm going to read that and then get up and start my day. I'm free today, which is Monday. So that's great again. And then after this, I'm going to do some yoga, have breakfast, just be a bit grounded, spend time with myself and really prepare for working in the new year yeah so i just thought i would check in and say good morning see what i'm doing so far that i've woken up and i'm in bed and yeah i hope you're doing well i hope your month has started well your month has started well and i am wishing you a lot of love vibrancy warmth care and that all your dreams for this year can come true because you are grounded in your practice and you are practicing peace you're practicing to move from a place of love and intentional living so that's what i pray for you i'll check in later when i get to bed 
and I start my day. First Monday of the month, 12 o'clock, here we are. I'm up, I did some yoga, or I started to. I thought that the first video was actually like a practice, but it wasn't. So what I'm going to do is just do that tonight before going to bed. But um, yeah, started the 30 day challenge from Yoga with Adrian, which is always nice. I did it last year for the full month of January and it was really nice. So I'm joining in again this year and I'm now going to enjoy Anayaka. I don't know if you know what this is, but it's wrapped. It's like cornmeal wrapped in banana leaves. Um, and then in the cornmeal, I'm going to show you how to like unpack it. And then it's show. really hot, but it's chicken inside of cornmeal um, with olives, cherries, plum, onion, cashew. Uh, these little thingies, capuchas, I don't like little onion thingies. Um, cashews, like I mentioned, chicken. And it's really nice. They eat it usually in Venezuela, I think, where it's originally from. Every Christmas season. And this is the first time I'm having it for... Oh, well, yesterday was the first time I had it when Marianne came over. Because she brought two of them for us. So that was really nice of her. And I'm going to have that. And then just go ahead and edit some stuff for social media. And try to really organize things for this week. As best as I can. So I'm going to enjoy this now. To end the video, I just would like to say thank you for watching. I ended up going for a walk that day and just taking a bit of a slow paced day. I didn't do much. However, thank you for watching and I'm so looking forward to seeing my growth this year and all the beautiful things I'll share with you. So if you like this video, give it a like, subscribe and I'll see you in my next one. Have a beautiful day.